to Thrive Tucson, sponsored by Vantage West, where I chat with small business owners to find out how to grow a successful organization. I'm your host, Carles Camilla, and today I'm joined with Michael Carrillo of Carrillo Law Firm. Carrillo is a Tucson-based law firm specializing in criminal defense and family law. They pride themselves on humanizing the legal process and promising their clients emotional in addition to legal support. Tell me about Carrillo Law Firm. How did it get started and who you work with? Well, uh, I work with my sister, Erin Carrillo. She is my, uh, my sister and my law partner. We opened up our law firm in August of 2013. It, and it is, it's a family run law firm. The, the, our only other employee is, is my wife, a uh, full-time employee is my wife, Dominique. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a very small, but, um, but very committed law firm. We don't hear much. We hear maybe father and daughter or father and son, et cetera, but we don't hear brother and sister when you two were the first ones in your family, to media family, to come into law. Tell me how it is to work with your sister. Erin is one of the smartest uh, attorneys that I know. Um, she's also one of the most demanding people I know. And I know that from being her brother. Mm -hmm. So we, you have to respect those two, those two characteristics and make it work, and make it work for both your personal relationship and of course your, your business relationship. And, and you really have to, to learn how to separate um, business and family. Exactly. Business and family, but hopefully you bring the very best to, to the table when you're at the business. How did you start your career? I started my career actually in Maricopa County um, I was at, was a prosecutor for, for a brief amount of time um, before I learned that, you know, my real passion was, was in criminal defense and I switched over to become a public defender in Maricopa County and absolutely, absolutely loved it. I had, um, Maricopa County had, it was a great office. It felt, um, it almost felt like this. It, it felt like working with, with family. family. Yes, I had some great, great attorneys, great mentors, um, and and you know I grew to I, I very much found my niche. That's great. And then you came over here and you formed this law law firm with your sister. How do you separate business and being a lawyer? Because did you ever imagine you would have your own business as a lawyer? I never imagined I would be I would be in the situation that the situation that I am today. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. I, I always, you know, being a public defender was such a big part of my life and it was a part of my identity. I did not imagine that I would, that I would be, um, number one, a small business mm -hmm. owner. You have to be very clear with your clients. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that, that Aaron and I pride ourselves on um, is respect and communication. Um, but part of running the business aspect is just being very clear with our clients about, you know, about what the services that we provide, mm -hmm. the reasons why we charge what we do, mm -hmm. and the expectation, what they can, the, what they can expect from us. Mm -hmm. And what they can expect from us is, is the very best, is the very best you know, we will do our, our very best. And we can't guarantee, an, we can't necessarily guarantee an outcome mm -hmm. um, because obviously the legal system is, is never guaranteed. But um, we, will, we, will, we will guarantee our, our best representation. You can provide your integrity and your, Absolutely. your community. Absolutely, and that's what it's about. Uh, the, especially in, in Tucson and especially in the, legal, in the legal community, it is about integrity. And and Erin and I, um, we take that to heart. Who's your clientele? What kind of law do you practice? What kind of law does Erin practice? It's a wide variety. You know, criminal defense in Tucson can be anything from an average, you know, um, DUI or maybe a reckless driving. Or you know, we also represent um, very serious crimes, mm -hmm. um, murder and homicide cases. Mm -hmm. We represent people charged in state court or municipal court and also mm -hmm. at the federal level mm -hmm. and even at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Aaron does um, post-conviction capital, capital work as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, last year 
it was really her. She was. It was a victory um, where she worked with another local attorney, John Young, and um, and they they got a man off of death row, and you know that that's a huge huge victory to give your clients that extra not only your legal representation i go we fill out papers we talk about the case and then we leave but how do you try to mix that to make them feel like you care about what they're going through my approach is to learn about the client's life you know i really do believe that mm -hmm. um and and it's paid off I, you know i will put the police reports aside um, we could talk about the law later. You can tell, we'll talk about the defense at some other time. You know, what they say, mañana, luego, you know, mm -hmm. we could talk about that at, later. You know, mm -hmm. I want to know everything about, about you. The person. The person, because ultimately that's going to be, we're going to integrate that in our defense. Mm -hmm. And whether or not the case goes to trial, whether or not the case, whether or not we're able to reach some sort of resolution with the prosecutor, the person, my client, knows everything about the case that is important. So much is missing in, in the police reports, so much is missing in, in the, um, in, from the prosecutor's perspective. And I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know the truth. So I have to accept their word for it. And, and the only way I can build that confidence is by knowing, knowing, knowing them at, at a basic level. And that was something I, I really loved about criminal, about public defense. And I've, able, I've been able to keep that and, and integrate that and, and really um, practice that in my, in my uh, business. I see that passion that comes from you when you're talking about defending somebody, about learning who this person is and to build a case around the person. Um, tell me how important is that for your business and what would be your advice for anybody that wants to open uh, a law firm? The attorney-client relationship, it's in a relationship built on, on really trust. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you really have to establish um, trust with your client and and i don't think that trust can be established without there being mutual respect and mutual confidence mm -hmm. you know and anybody that that number one anybody that that wants to start um a a law firm whether it be in, in, in criminal defense or whether it be in other area of the law, they have to, they have to number one, love what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And number two, they have, to, they, have to, they have to be able to communicate with people. You must get to know really your, your clients on, on a, a respectful and um, a trusting basis. You have to establish that, that uh, level of trust and confidence. Advice from the business part is again to be straight and honest from the get-go mm -hmm. to um don't hide that you know i do i am one that i don't like to talk about money you know i don't like to talk about money in my business <laughs> or in my personal life but but that's the first you know i do an hour consultation free and in that hour consultation you know a good 59 minutes is is talk talking about the person talking about the case but the other 60 seconds is, hey, hey, you know, this is my, this is my fine, this is my fee, this is what you are getting for, for the money that you are spending. It's a family-run uh, law firm, and like uh, for many of our clients, their decision to to hire us or to retain us, it's a family affair. So I always say, you know, I, I'm not expecting you to sign on the dotted line today. You go home, you you discuss it. Um, but this is this is what you are getting, and this is why this is the reason that that we that we charge what we do. Yeah. Well, it's a business. It is you a know? business. It's a business. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, Michael, it was great talking to you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Congratulations yeah. to you and Aaron, and thank you uh, for all of you for, for being with us here. And if you need more information about Carrillo Law Firm, visit thecarrillolawfirm.com. This has been Business Spotlight with Carlos Camilla. See you next time.